meter is your size after the minimum invariant coefficients. Good morning, my name is Nikos Karamitas and I'm a physical therapist coming from Greece. Uh, my presentation is about the Arctic stripping for the lessening of Arctic sclerosis and the importance of short method exercises uh, after the minimum invasive operation. These are my disclosures. The objectives of the study are to present the short term results of the Arctic system and the necessity of short method exercises post operation. Apifix acts at, like an internal brace and tries to fill the gap between uh, the conservative and the surgical treatment for sclerosis. How it works? Uh, the Apifix attaches to the pedic uh, from the concave side with uh, two screws uh, at the apex level and the relative correction of the deformity is achieved. The system has a ratchet mechanism which allows the elongation of an expandable rod by the use of the scoliosis specific exercises and tries to, to bring the curvature into the safe zone below 30 degrees. Apifix has uh, some advantages compared to the spinal fusion, such as the smaller cells can incision, the duration of operation, hospitalization, and blood loss. There is no fusion, so no effect on growth. Uh, normal spinal mobility after operation and the potential option to remove the device after maturity or have a spinal fusion in the future. The fatigue tests that are performed in Germany had very good results. And the risk of failure is reduced during the spherical joint between the implant and the screw, which does not allow any transfer of moments on but only pure axial loads. And the nut film holds the spherical ring, but the joint is still free to move in three dimensionally. <laughs> Apex is not indicated for every type of scoliosis, but only for leg type 1 and 5, with core bumps between 40 and 60 degrees, with a moderate rotation and a good flexible curvature. So after the initial classification of the curvature and the x ray evaluation, the, the exercises start approximately one month pre-operation in order to improve body awareness, flexibility and mobility, and they restart again two weeks uh, of after the operation, and they must be continued at least for six months. These are the general scores of treatment with short method. Uh, we try to achieve uh, an improvement in co and uh, ATR, posture and clinical appearance to reduce the pain, to improve the spinal mobility and flexibility, improve the general breathing function of the patient, and train them for the activities of daily living, uh, so to reduce the mechanical forces that promote progression. It is a prospective ongoing case series studies. Six female patients were included that uh, did have the operation in Greece. Uh, every patient followed the scoliosis specific exercises program with a short method of Barcelona Scoliosis Physical Therapy School for six months post operation. The output parameters were the copan, the ATR, the aesthetics, and the pain. And there was an average follow up of uh, 17.5 months. Here are the general results. At the time of the abstract su submission, the percentage of the co reduction was 35.9%, but after the last x-rays, it went up to 40%. Compared to a previous study that presented uh, from Israel in the last social meeting with an average correction of 32 degrees, the results seem to be better, and it could have been even better if all patients have clear indication for artifix. Uh, we had uh, one complication, one revision surgery due to a backup of the ratchet that was corrected by locking the mechanism. And another patient had no chance for elongation or further correction with the exercise due to improper choice of the length of the mechanism. So those two patients were excluded from the pre post short exercise analysis, which uh, showed that the results uh, were very good. Uh, the co improved by 4.6 degrees the APR by 2.3 degrees, the TAPS by 0.7, the TRACE by 2, and the visual analog scale by 1.3 units. This is the first study. Uh, lumbar scoliosis, 37 degrees. Initial correction after operation to 26 degrees. And six months post, post uh, exercises, uh, the correction was 23 degrees. And there's a follow-up. This is the first patient, the follow-up over two years. The, uh, the curvature remains stable. And here you can see the elongation of the road after the exercises. This is the second case, a thoracolumbar scoliosis of 30 degrees. Uh, two weeks post-operation before starting the exercises, the correction was to 18 degrees. 
six months after exercises, we were up to 14 degrees, and 18 months post graduation, we are at six degrees. And here you can see greater elongation of the rod. This was the most difficult case. The WHO curvature, it was classified by the surgeon as a lanky type 1, major thoracic, for me, lanky type 3. Uh, this was the difficult was that um, the patient was at risk zero with a uh, W major curvature thoracic 54 degrees lumbar 44. The initial correction was very good and the curvature was good at 30 degrees in the thorax and 33 in the lumbar. However, uh, during the first month after operation and even before we start the exercises, there was a deterioration of the curvature and the thoracic went to 37 and the lumbar to 39. However, even with, in this very difficult case, with short method exercises, we achieved to stabilize the curvature and to uh, get a slight improvement in the uh, thoracic curvature. And here you can see also this slight uh, expansion of the road and the clinical appearance improvement, the improvement that we uh, achieved with short exercises six months later. Um, this is the case that uh, did the revision operation, um, thoracic <coughs> curvature of uh, 59 degrees. We got a good initial correction to 35 degrees. Uh, six, however, six months later, we had this backup of the ratchet and the curvature went to 50 degrees, but uh, it was finally stabilized to 39 after the revision surgery. Here you can see the this backup of the ratchet, you can see the fourth on the right, the, it, goes, it went down. Yeah. And this is the clinical appearance of the patient in my back here. Here's the most recent up fix operation. It's, it is not included in this study, but this is a Greek uh, um, that lives in the United States and came to Greece for the operation. The initial uh, angle was 59 degrees. Post operation, we are at 29. We don't have a f the three months radiological follow up for this patient yet. The next month is 100 degrees. And you can see the improvement in the clinical appearance three months after short exercises. So, to conclude, <coughs> Apofix system can offer an alternative treatment option for some scoliotic patients, not for everyone. It is an imperative need for a proper patient selection and strict application of the Apofix indication, and this could potentially lead to even better results. Short method exercises enhance the final treatment result and must always accompany the Apofix operation. Uh, in our study, we achieved an improvement of Co-band ATR clinical appearance and pain. And uh, finally, longer follow-up is needed to determine the long-term results. And here, the activities of daily living training we achieve with short method to play a key role. So, thank you for your attention.